Hi all and welcome back. So in today's video I will teach you how to do the functional programming JavaScript. In the first one I will begin by telling you about the most important concept in functional programming and that is the high order functions. I will talk about what a high order functions are and I will move on to code and show how do you can use them. Okay. But before we do that I want to tell you why you should learn functional programming in case you don't know me I am Amit Gujarati and I'm, I have a full time experience, I am a full time ex Java service now developer okay and I have overall experience of 6 years, 6 plus years I am currently working with Cognizant and I love functional programming so functional programming has made programming so much fun for me uh, if you have been pro programming for a while but haven't tried your hands on functional programming before this video is gonna change your life so learning functional programming is gonna make you so much a better programmer you will feel uh, more, much more secure with the quality of work and it will be a lot better and you will be on more slight of out you will be able to write programs with le less bugs in less time your code will have less bugs because your code will be easier to reason out about and uh, you will be able to write in less time because you will be you will be able to co reuse the code again and again yeah so let me first tell you about higher order function because that is going to make make you a super developer okay in javascript and in all functional program functions are values let me show you what exactly i mean in the natural habitat okay so this is my personal instance and today's topic is um higher order function okay and in that we will be looking into it's a part of functional programming okay so you must be aware about okay this function if i write something like function which takes one argument which is x and it returns return x into 3 so if you are not um, aware about functional pro about javascript also then also you can understand what exactly this logic is trying to do so basically what is doing it's ex accepting one attribute called x and it's returning x into 3 a lot of people ask me on a scripting manner and they ask you where exactly from where the exactly this black background script is coming from me so it's coming from a plugin called snutis which i use pretty frequently okay so this is how the function is built okay but uh, no other programming language can do this okay what so you can define you can assign it to a variable so variable triple equal to function and this and then again you assign this variable to variable amit equal to triple and you can go so on so this makes code pretty reusable okay and then you can use um, simply a method of certain value okay whatever you want to do so this is the power of javascript okay so in now we will be looking into filters in a functional programming okay so what are filter in simple word filter is a function on the array that accepts another function as its argument which it in return will return a new filter version of the array okay so it will take one array it will do filtration on that array and it will return array itself okay so let's look into the functions okay so i will remove this out so for example i have created one json okay let's call it as a variable cities okay and let's take an array so i just define an array because i really feel bored defining it and defining an array so for example this is an array okay so what exactly this is an array of cities uh, which has cities and it has its population okay now for example you have a requirement okay uh, that you want to get the name of the city get the cities whose population is greater than 3 million okay 
so how you will do it? do it so the first thing which comes in any programmer's mind okay any basic programmer's mind is like a f using for loop so if we try to go with a for loop how exactly it looks so if we go with for loop so what how exactly we do we will first define our now uh, empty array so i will do variable big cities you can call it it will be an empty array then what you will do so you will define for loop okay for variable i equal to 0 then you can go like uh, i less than cities dot length okay i plus plus right and then you can put your business logic whatever is your business like in this case it will be like if cities of i okay dot population is greater than 3 million right million then what you have to do you have to simply push it to the big cities array so we will do big cities dot push and then you can push like cities of i so this is how you will write a logic in a for loop okay so what exactly we are doing i will just repeat it out we define a empty array called big cities then we iterated through the cities array and what we checked if the city's population is greater than 3 million if it then we are pushing it to big cities and now if i do gs dot info on big cities okay so it should return the cities which has population greater than 3 million so what are the cities which have population greater than so it's Los Angeles and New York right so it should return these two things so let's try it out so if we run the code out it return object object perfect so why because it's an object right that's why it's written so let's make it stringify so I will do json dot stringify for people who don't know what json does string if i does it converts the json object into a string okay so if i run it now so boom we got the result what we were expected we got los angeles and we got new york so this is 99 percent of the developer this is how the they will code when they get this kind of requirement okay now if i want to Wow, I I just back, background script. This is the disadvantage of background script. You can see. So I will take that array again. So this is how the for loop looks like. Okay. Now if I want to do the same, okay. If I want to do the same with, um, by using functional programming, so how I can do? So I will again define the same cities array. So it's pretty simple if I want to use. So I will define a variable. Okay, as I told in the start, that filter returns an array itself. So we don't have to define separate array. So I will define an array called big cities. Okay, I will big cities using filter perfect so I define a variable called big cities again and now what I will do as it at its work it rates on array right so we can define at like cities dot and now you can write filter okay cities dot filter and in filter you can define a function called the way we define function always right function which will take one attribute I will give it you can give any name so I can give attribute as city okay and in the definition I will simply write return cities sorry it's city right city dot 
population right this attribute city dot population is greater than 3 million okay and that's done so you have seen the previous for loop which i i lost okay mistake in lost and you can see this okay so if you can see how the code is reduced okay and uh, we are not using any complex commands also over here okay so first of all let's see if the outcome is coming fine or not okay else i will feel ashamed okay so let's try it out so i will do js dot info okay and i will in start only i will do json json dot string ify and i will give big set is let's see how it comes so if i run it now we got the same output okay but with the lesser code okay so this is the strength of field of higher order function and in this sense it's filter so what exactly we are doing over here so we took the array okay we put the dot filter and we define a function okay which will take one attribute it's an inline function and what we are doing it will push things into this big cities whenever this particular statements turn out to be true so for new york and los angeles as the population is greater than 3 million it will return true and whenever it's written true it will push it to the big cities and we got the result so you can do one more thing okay you can simply separate this function out also okay so for example i will i will what i will do i will take let's i will take this function out <clears throat> i will take this function out okay control x okay and i will define a function called is big city okay is big city is a function for us and i can simply give i can simply separate a function okay and put it over there so this is a function now so now we have a big cities function and now you can simply call this function in filter so i will call is i will it should be small okay sorry so if i run it now it should return the same result yeah the result is same so what i did over here what i simply separate out the function which inline function i have created a, a external function for it so now this function is decoupled from this logic so you can use this function wherever you want okay independently of this filter and in filter also we are using this function so this makes the code reusable okay so this is how the filter works okay it's pretty easy to use you can define any function and you can simply call that function in order to do the filtration in the similar way we have fun we have another function called reject so it works exactly opposite to the filter so i'll filter check if this particular condition meets whatever the function if this function return true it will push it to the array okay what reject does ki if the function returns true it will reject that particular record it will not consider that record so what is let's see the syntax for that also okay pretty amazing okay so this is for big cities uh, we can we can see like i can give comment like filter result and as i told that rejects works exactly opposite to this right so you can simply we can consider function uh, let's define another attribute we'll give variable not big don't big city okay so which is opposite to this okay so we it's like cities dot reject okay this is the syntax for reject and oh why i am doing over here 
sorry for this control X should be over here and it will have the same attribute called is big city right let's copy paste I'm really good at copy paste okay so what this function will do it will check if the uh, population is greater than 3 million then it will reject that particular record it will not consider that means it's taking the other subset which got excluded in the first one let's try to print that also and we can reject result and reject should throw all the other cities right like Chicago, Houston and Philadelphia right so let's put this okay and let's run so rejected result came as undefined why we did something wrong To, to, to ideally it should work why it's not working this big city is to, to, to cities that reject mm -hmm. I'm not sure what exactly is happening over here with region. Ideally it should also work. Nothing wrong over here. I have to check on this. Okay. Let's try to something if I missed. one okay if it's not working I will try to cover it out in the next video mm -hmm. this is also not oh sorry 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 I'm doing JSON dot stringify, right? How it will come with this? This is fine. So in this way, you can use filter. I'm not sure about reject, but I will check on the same. So hope you like this video. This is how you can reduce using fil uh, for loops, make it shorter, beautiful, and use filter to make code more reusable and easy to understand. Hope you like this video. Please like, follow, subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.